Hi, it's like the place of a thousand drips underneath this 06 Impala. So we're going to get under here and see where this is coming from. We've driven this up on ramps, but it's still quite a squeeze under here. Despite the presence of all these drip points, the actual source is actually pretty clear. Don't look any further than the base of the oil filter, that adapter that's right underneath it. That's what we're going to go after. Job one is to take the uh, oil filter out. So I happen to have the right cap type wrench that can be turned used with a uh, ratchet extension. Here I have highlighted our trouble bolt 13 millimeters and so close to the air conditioning compressor that the compressor bolts, the three of them, are going to have to be loosened just far enough to get that bolt out. And there's a cover that's in the way that's missing on this vehicle. But you can see where the bolts are located once that cover is removed. And they're both 15 millimeter. A little different equipment for each one. The upper, the lower one, I'm using a 3 inch extension with a regular 15 millimeter socket. Okay, it's broken. And on the upper one, you just need a uh, 15 millimeter deep well socket. Okay, and it's broken. And right below and behind that filter adapter is the third bolt. Also 15 millimeter. It's got a regular socket and a breaker bar. Knocking it loose and turning it out. And I'm finishing up on the two front ones. I like to loosen them all gradually. Something I learned a long time ago. You don't want to put extra stress on any one bolt. And as I said there, this bolt has the greatest effect. And I turned it out, I bet, a good half inch. I'll show you later how far out it actually wound up before I could get that, that adapter bolt out. So you can just get a wrench in there if you loosen the bolts on the compressor enough. Now breaking it might be another thing. It's broken. Wow. There is so little room to work in here. Our fending bracket is slotted on this one, so just loosen it a little, bu a little bit, because the two other ones will need to be removed completely, but not this one. It's just enough. You just have to keep loosening the compressor to get this loose enough to where you can turn it on. I'm using a box end wrench. Okay, then there's this long one. That is, of course, the easy one. And there's one in the back as well that we can't see. There's a bigger, like, 50 millimeter bolt right above this upper bolt from the adapter. That's, so just, once you find that, just feel behind it, and that's a good location method. Here's a preview of the adapter removed, showing you the uh, location of that hidden bolt. So I'm on it right there, I think. And I was on it. Maybe I'm not on it. Okay, finally broke it. We have a real short arc here. Try to take this all the way off. Once the bolt was broken, I was able to spin it off with this thumb wheel setup fairly easily. I'm gonna lose oil. I gotta go get a drip pan again. Big long beast. Unplug. 
a little bit. Gasket fell apart. This thing needs a nice thorough cleanup, and I'm gonna get a new oil pressure switch too. was so kicked on I had to use a screwdriver and a toothbrush too. These pressure switches can leak too and go bad so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open myself up to taking this thing out again so let's replace it. Till it seats down, that's good. Till there's no gap in here at all. Part of this gasket came out with the adapter and part of it stayed in. So I'm just gonna pull the rest of it out of there. So clean this all up good. I'm gonna use Probably some lacquer thinner. I've got a scraper here, plastic scraper. Get off some of the remaining residue from the old gasket. You can also see here how much I took the air conditioner down. That's a good half inch. In order to gain clearance for that bolt right there. I've got like a 400 grit sandpaper. Then I'll follow with some lacquer thinner. If you don't tack this gasket on in a few places, it is not going to stay up there and allow you to in install it. Turn that bolt out just enough to slip that slotted part under it. No more. You might want to plug the pressure switch in beforehand. I didn't do it that way and it's a little bit easier, I think. See, without me holding it, it stays in place, giving me an opportunity to put the long bolt in now. Everything is tight under here. Now we'll turn this one in. Can. I believe I'm actually able to turn it with one finger. There. Got him finger tight. So to keep that, uh, that bolt in the socket, a little tape is very, very helpful. So I got this started somehow from the top getting down in here and just by feel because it's right next to another bolt so you can feel it I'm turning it in by hand as far as I can I'm actually turning it all the way it turns in pretty easily at 
easiest one first. <clears throat> so in this one, it's a very small turning radius, but you do have a turning radius. We're going to do the final tightening on the top bolt from the top. So I wound up way down here like this and I was able to get some good torque on it. So six inches of toolage gets you in there just, uh, just about right. If you can take it off you can put it back on. I'm going to speed through the compressor, tightening the compressor bolts up. I gotta say, this job was harder than I expected. I looked at a couple videos uh, that suggested that this was a half hour job. This took me a few, couple, three hours. And it was frustrating two or three hours. Get it good and snug. There. Hand tight. So we lost some oil when we took out the filter. And this thing's been leaking for a good long time, so it needed a little top off. Make sure you check that. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll be doing more of the same kind of work down the road.